Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 AFL 2017 delistments. But before I start this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and subscribe to my channel. Link in the description below. And without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 5, we have a player who was very, very good at the start of his career, but started to fade away later in his career, and that is Lockie Hansen. This year, Lockie Hansen unfortunately only played 10 games, averaging 13 disposals, and just missed off having his 150th game. Although he was bad later in his career, he definitely had a good start to his career and helped North to get to a lot of the finals that they made. Coming in at number 4, we have a player who also was very, very good at the start of the year, but unlike Lockie Hansen, his career was ruined due to injuries, and that is Jack Trengove. Jack Trengove was the former captain of the Melbourne Demons before injury struck. In 2014, he only played two games. He also missed 2015 and returned late in 2016, playing three games, averaging 17 possessions. This year, he played two games, with um, averaging 15 possessions per game. But he says he still has a lot to offer a club, and he still might be on an AFL club next year. Coming in at number 3, we have another player who was struck down with injuries later in his career, but was a very, very big help to Richmond, and that is Stephen Morris. Stephen Morris is a great player for the Tigers, and was a great player in the VFL this year. He played every game for 2012-13, and nearly every game for 14. But in 2015, he was changed to a forward and missed a couple games, while in 2016, he did his knee and only played 8 games. This year, he had a couple of injuries here and there, but only managed to play one game, where he averaged 8 disposals. Coming in at number 2, we have more of a surprising d listman because he is a very, very good player and has had a bit of injuries here and there, and that is Zach Clark. Zach Clark was arguably one of Fremantle's best young players, and he also played in the 2013 Grand Final. And nearly played every game for the 2014 season. Unfortunately, every single year he has injuries here and there. And only plays about 13, 14 or 15 games. But this year he did not play one game at all with a lot of injuries. But a lot of clubs, exactly about five, have definitely had a look at him for season 2018. So I expect he will be on the club next year. Coming in at number one, we definitely have the most surprising D. Lusman. Considering he was one of North Melbourne's best ever players. And that is Sam Gibson. Sam Gibson averaged 22.1 disposals this year and played every single game for North Melbourne. He is one of the six players who have been delisted a part of the new North Melbourne um, rebuilding strategy. And I think out of all the ones, the other five were definitely probably right. But this one, he shouldn't have been delisted. He has the most consecutive games record of all time and for North Melbourne. Playing, I think it was um, 130 games in a row. So you're yeah, very, very definitely surprised that he got delisted. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, comment if you want me to do more videos like this. Also go subscribe to my gaming channel. Link in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.